Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 1. In the last episode, we uh, we got a little bit greedy. We ran into some problems, uh, ended up upsetting a madman. Now I'm thinking about it, I probably should have snuffed the torch before the end of that fight to try and get one of his uh, his music boxes. But I'm, I am bad at this game, and I forget to do things like that. Um, but yeah, excited to go ahead and start our next dungeon we have quite a few options available to us, and uh, we've already gone ahead and kind of picked out our, not picked out our team, but we've already gotten our new recruits, so we are fully rostered up. We'll probably have to go ahead and think about upgrading the stagecoach soon. Um, but I think it's time for us to maybe venture into one of these other dungeon areas and kind of start unlocking them and just we get more options and more options is always good. I would like to do a medium dungeon soon, but I'm not super, like I don't really care much about the rewards on any of those. Um, or on many of these, but, you know, Crusaders, uh, Knight's Crest is pretty good. Uh, slippery Boots can be fun. And Damage Stone, I mean, additional damage is always a nice thing. But I think it's, I think we should go check out the Warrens. Go say hi to some pigs. And uh, in the name of uh, all things Darkest Dungeon 2, you know, get some sluice juice before it becomes the sluice. Um, if you don't know what that means, you should go watch some of my Darkest Dungeon 2 episodes. Uh, but it's been a while, a while, a while since I even think about going into the Warrens. Um, you know, but I, I'm wondering if anybody has any kind of benefits here. We have a Warrens Adventurer. Um, we have a Warrens Explorer. We have a Warrens Adventurer. Though we do have all of these nasty things. Honestly... I know we don't have much money, but like I'm almost tempted to either get rid of my Plague Doctor or I might get rid of her. I mean, it's a lot of money to invest in getting rid of Imposter Syndrome and the Yips. It's a pretty rough combination of things. Um, and it would be a huge investment. It would be cheaper now to do it if we went to the sanitarium and um, you know decided to get rid of like Imposter Syndrome. It's only 1500 and The Plague Doctor is very valuable. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spend some money. We'll get rid of it. We might get lucky, and I think it, I think it can possibly treat two at the same time, but it's pretty difficult to have happen. But hey, whatever. We do have a couple people with a little bit of stress, but I, we're gonna try to avoid thinking about that right now. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead. We've got Reynold. We've got uh, Froisart. Froisart. I don't know. Uh, we do have a Warren's adventure there. Who's uh, who's the guy who's got? Warren's Explorer. Is that Dismas? Dismas, my beloved. And then... Well, we do have a healer. We could take our Houndmaster, Peveril. Um, and maybe we could switch off this for this, just for the potential full bleed. I think all this is fine. That's fine. And... These are probably fine, though we may want to do something like use Inspiring Cry as just an additional stress heal instead of Bulwark of Faith. Though Bulwark does mark us, and mark is something that we're probably going to be dealing with a little bit. Maybe we'll just go with that. Maybe we'll just go with, with Bulwark. We can open up with it. I'm really bad about using like support abilities in this game. I usually just like to do damage, which I mean does good, but might be better to try doing something like this, so... Um, all right, we've got a team here. I'm gonna try this out. We'll see how it goes. I would like to start working on getting some upgrades on abilities here. This is where it's gonna start costing us a lot of money, but it is a pretty good thing to do. So like upgrading these two abilities, upgrading the heal, um, the pull. We don't have to upgrade everything, but I think upgrading quite a few things is gonna be useful here. Are like our main damaging abilities, our stress heal, um, maybe Hounds Harry as well. Could upgrade the stun, which just increases its chance to stun. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do Inspiring Cry. I'm gonna unlock it, buy it, and then we'll equip it over Zealous Accusation, I think. Um, just to have it on. And then. And we can start looking at spending some money here. All right, so we have spent a lot of money. That is just part of the game, unfortunately. I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna try to get some money back um, with this team. 
Uh, I'm only going to take the one stack of food. I'm going to take a stack of torches. This is where I need to remember. I think anti-venom is going to be something we might want to take. Um, of course, we're going to want two, at least two shovels. I don't think we're going to need a key. I think bandages. There's, there is an interaction with like a thing of knives, I think. But I think medicinal arms is going to be better for us. And yeah, I think this is pretty good. We have 8,000 gold here. It's not much, but it's something. We have a 35% chance for scouting here, um, which is good. Yeah, all right. Uh, do we not upgrade his? We didn't upgrade sack stab. Um, that's fine. We got a, we got most of it. This is still a short dungeon. I think we'll be fine. That was a pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> it was a pretty quick hamlet there. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Try to get the full length out of these episodes, the but but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Good scout right off the bat. This is a 100% of room battles one. Goodness me, I don't remember what interacts with that, so I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> ah, piggy boys. God, the artwork in this area is so good. I forgot how good uh, these guys look. So this guy, I remember being particularly nasty. Um, so I'm just gonna stab him with my knife and hope that he dies a horrible death, which he didn't. So now we're just going to stab him with this knife, and now he dies a horrible death, which is good. And... This guy is a stress caster, if I remember correctly. What's the stun chance here? There's a chance we stun. Let's go for it. All right, no stun. Is he a stress caster? He's a marker, right? Okay. That's going to hurt, right? Hmm. Lowers his dodge. There's the stress cast, I believe. Yeah, not much stress, but it's still still enough to be scary. Um, go ahead and cry havoc here. Pretty good overall stress heal there. Go ahead and whack this guy with a fantastic crit. It's a great stress heal. And then we'll just oh, dismiss. You absolute monster, you. Surprised he didn't go for Dismas there. Good dodge. Um, so this is where we can kind of start trying to just get a little bit of stress down here. Um, it also does heal a little bit, but... Increases our torchlight. And I'm actually going to try for a heal as well. If we can get it. That's a pretty good heal. That should be enough to get a kill. All right. Something I'm trying to remember to be better at, just kind of taking advantage of, of the fight and actually using it as a chance to, uh, I think maybe medicinal herbs? We get some food, right? Yeah. So that's a lot of food we now have, which I need to remember is maybe I don't need to take as much food into this area because of the fact that you can get things like that. Um... Ah, uh, we got the, uh, the Swine Wretch. This guy, this guy's a nightmare, if I remember correctly. Um, so we definitely want to kill this dude as quickly as possible. 83% chance to hit and a crit while we're at it. Next is going to be the Drummer. Um, yeah, I'll use one of these. Oh, my goodness. Absolute monstrosity. Let's go ahead and stun one of these dudes. And yeah, I'm feel we're feeling pretty good after that. And a dodge too. Man, this team is just gonna be too good. Too good. Uh yeah, we can do more damage with this. Another crit, fantastic. Every everybody's just got all their stuff going for them. Oh my god. Alright. Overconfidence, remember, it's a slow and insidious killer. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Destroy them. You gotta trinket out. You know, I didn't put trinkets on anybody. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, mm, debuff skill chance, debuff resist. We'll keep it, but I'm probably not gonna put it on anybody. Uh, we do have a key, so let's go ahead and use it. Ooh, that's what I like to see. That has a lot of goodies. We have a lot of extra food here, so I'm just gonna keep eating all of this for now. Uh, we don't really need all of this space taken up. Alright. I think we've used a torch yet. Oof. 
Sorry, Reynold. Mind Poor guy. Such missteps are the uh, no bandages for you, so you're gonna have to eat that bleed for a little bit. Ah. Oh, Dismas. Or, not Dismas. Uh, Reynold. You poor soul. You poor kleptomaniac soul. Nothing here? Alright. Worm! It's a worm! Aryan Eater. They have arrived. Oh my god. What is going on right now? Why is my crit rate, like, so obscene? I mean, I'm absolutely okay with it, but... Uh, perfection is doing what Perfection is does there. Try for the stun here. It's a 50% chance, though. Maybe it wasn't the best call. Oof. All right. What did I tell you about overconfidence, right? Okay, Dismas, Dismas now feeling, feeling it. Go ahead and cure that Blight off of him. And uh, go for the damage here. Get the heal. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor Dismas. Come on. Leave him alone. You leave my boy alone. Obliterated. There we go. That's better. Um, how much health does he have left? He has two, and most likely he's gonna go first. Let's let's not play that. I could try to do like a cry havoc here. We don't really need to. These um, creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So I guess we can throw this on him. Sure. Take that. Yeah, I don't, I just don't remember what interacts with that. Maybe holy water? Hey! Alright. Not touching books. I just vaguely remember being, books being, like, always forever bad kind of thing in this game. We know that there's at least one more room battle, because we still have a room battle left to go. It's a good start for us. We um, we're happy that we don't get a uh, don't get marked there. These guys, I believe, I don't know, maybe not early this early on, but I do know they do more damage against marked at some point in the game. I have to remember they get you know more difficult as you get in the further dungeons kind of deal. So gotta kind of remember how that all works. Good crit. All right. Might do some inspiring cries just to get our torch light up. Um. Dead. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Just a, just a little bit of free torch, you know. Might as well take advantage while we have that time. And yeah, let's just go for the kill. All right, definitely doing well on the heirlooms department here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of organize some stuff here. Gold, we have items over here. Put on my heirlooms in one spot just so I can kind of visualize it a bit better. Food up here, that over there. All right. Yeah, we're doing okay. We definitely still have a lot of food. Um, we haven't gotten a hunger proc yet, but we're most likely only going to... We won't get one in this hallway because we've already used up all the tiles. So at most one? Maybe? Yeah, at most one. Um, I don't have any more holy... I do have more holy water. Um, yeah, let's go for it. More loot is gooder loot. All right, we got a scout proc, finally. There we go, a good trap there. Might be able to do something about that, though I don't think our occultist has the best of uh, trap disarm rates. 60, 60. 
Let's just go for the 90. Not worth risking it. I don't think that that does anything good. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think it does, though. This, I can't remember what does this do either. So, I don't know. I'm bad at this game, man. All right, we did get opened up with Swine Rich, and we immediately get Spotted Fever. Oh, man. First disease of the game. Um, what, is, what does Spotted Fever do? Minus 50% Blight Resist. I mean, that could be a lot worse, I suppose. Um, Annihilated. Right where it hurts, indeed. Go for a stun here. Ooh, wow. I'm actually impressed that that resisted the stun. Good resist overall, though. Love that for us. Um... Yeah, sure, we'll go for this. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. That should be enough to kill him. Yep. And now we just oof. That sack stab missing. I know. Perfectionist doing perfectionist things there. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Now Mark doesn't mean that they're gonna take less or that they're going to it's not like the same as Taunt and DD2, right? It's not a guarantee, like, if they can hit you, they will hit you. But they're higher to prioritize it, I believe. Especially if they have abilities that work with it. Alright, we continue adventuring. But a victory I don't remember what this. interacts with that. Let's see what the scout gives us. Nothing. Um, we might be able to get a, a free stress heal, though. Um... Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Pig squeals! Ah, oh, damn. Oh, well. Alright. That's fine. Their squeals fade. <laughs> Their confidence is shaken. Ah, uh, you know, 6,000 gold. And we do get a bunch of heirlooms. That's good. And thick-blooded. And a disease. Hey, you know, they can't all be, can't all be great victories. Wash in blood there he is. Uh, unfortunately, he I don't have a way of grabbing of him right now. Um, so I'm not super worried about it. Just uh, our flaggy boy back in his bleed days, his good old bleed, bleed days. I don't have a way of grabbing about sacrificing somebody. I'm not going to do that. So it is what it is. Actually, I think you can still, can you still grab him? Yeah, you can, right? I could like increase my roster size if I wanted to. And, uh, and snag him up. Maybe maybe that's something we'll do. Ooh, Antiquarian. That's actually a really good find. Um, especially early on. We... we uh, com Compulsive Antiquarian. Maybe not so much. Because <laughs> uh, she's for... I mean, if anybody's going to be compulsive, I would rather be the Antiquarian. As long as she's not a Klepto. Because this will force her to potentially interact with items. Um, the downside being that you won't be able to use an item with it, right? So if she interacts with a chest or something or whatever, that I would normally use an item to get more loot or force it to be loot and not something else, then we're going to run into a problem. That's that's a little... <laughs> that's, that's, that's a little upsetting, but that is just kind of the way the game goes. Um, let's go ahead and just toss everybody off here. So now we've gone ahead and unlocked the Warrens. We have... a. Uh, a medium dungeon up here for the dodgy sheath, which is pretty good for the IOM. An additional dodge and speed does lower his accuracy, but you kind of throw him up front and have him do uh, have him do melee skills, and you're fine. We do have our first medium or veteran dungeon, I should say. Medic's Grease for the Arbalist. We have uh, Eye Patch for our friend over there. We have the Virtuous Chalice and Flash Powder Gunpowder. All in all, not some bad options. I say we go straight for the darkest dungeon, though. We go ahead and get our position. No, okay. I'm sure there's a way to cheese it and do this with, like, level one heroes or something. I'm just not good enough to do that. Um, so, yeah. But, hey, uh, let's go ahead and do the question for today's episode. I, was meant, I meant to do this earlier, but I got way too involved in killing pigs. But um, yes, last episode was what was your favorite team comp? What is your least favorite hero in the game? Out of all the heroes available to you, which one's your least favorite? Why is it your least favorite? And yeah, let me know why. Why is it Leper? I'm kidding. Leper is great when Leper hits. Um, 
But yeah, what's your least favorite hero and why? I'd definitely be curious to find out what people think about the hero roster in DD1. So that's going to close up this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.